Hey guys, this is part four of my series on how I keep my house clean. I'm a highly sensitive person and I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to smells. I have three cats, four litter boxes, a teenager, and a very sensitive nose. So sometimes I have to be an investigator and sometimes I have to just tackle it. And the most important thing is prevention. So I'll be sharing all that with y'all. And I hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye. What the hell is that smell? Oh my God. D, what stinks in here? Did you just poop or something? Oh my God, I gotta find out what this smell is. Lord help us. It's not the washing machine. It's not the litter boxes. Dee, did you eat anything? Yeah. What? What you do with your wrappers? Oh, let me see if that's the smell. Ah, see guys, I don't throw anything in my trash other than just trash. And it's because it stings up the trash. I cannot stand a stinky trash. So, what to do is anything like this now, leave on the dryer and I bag it. And I'm going to, when I go to work this evening, I'll dump it at the dump. I don't put food in my trash. Yeah. I put it all out in the woods. But my daughter has been putting tuna fish wrappers in the trash, and oh my god, it smells bad. So, part of keeping my house clean is keeping it free of smells. And this is where I dump all the food. I don't put any in my trash. Those, but that's where it came from. That's where you put it back to. And ants and animals can enjoy it. Guys, bacon soda is good for a bunch of reasons. But it's good for smells, odor, and pests. So I sprinkle it on my carpet ever so often. I don't think my carpet stinks, but I just do freshens up the place. So I have bacon soda in my jar, so I'm going to sprinkle it on the carpet. Helps keep your carpet, beds, and things like that fresh. I'm going to do this before I vacuum. Guys, I hate this kind of washer because they stink, start to stink. And I... I can smell it when I walk in the house. It's crazy. So I got these. I might wash the washer. I thought the cat had pooped. That's how bad it smells. You're supposed to do it every month. So I'm going to put the thing in there. I gotta, I'm going to clean this too before I do it. I'm going to spray in there. In that part. I got four litter boxes and I, I scoop them every day. This one probably twice a day, but that's because there's two cats in here and they like to use this one. They won't use the big one. Not unless they have to. So I scoop all four every day, sometimes twice a day. I dump all four once a week. This one is the one they're not using. It's the bacon soda. I use it in the litter box too. And that helps keep it fresh. Just like this. Have to be left, the door has to be left open. You have to clean inside of there. 
and every so often, just like mine, you have to do the fresh. Or they will sm it will smack. It's going to sting. So if you got one, just what you have to do. Clean in here. I wouldn't clean in there with vinegar, but clean in there with it, something you like to use. And because vinegar can rust your washer, it has mine. And if you have a dishwasher, check it and see if water's standing in it. Because they definitely will smell. Smells will come from here too. So if you have a type of toilet that clips on and clips off, then you should uh, spray it every so often and wipe it. Now I can sit while I'm doing the shower.